hey guys welcome back to my space i hope you guys are doing well i hope you guys are doing good because as you can see i'm glowing i'm doing great and today i'm excited because i want to show you guys this beautiful hair that i got from nadula hair okay it came in this box i'm going to be showing you what the contents of this box is but today i want to be like a lagos big girl you guys know that lagos big girls have a certain look okay so that's the look that i'm going for i want to look like i drive a range rover that white range rover that they always buy <laughs> I want to look like I drive a white Range Rover, I own, you know, a mess bag, I, you know, shop for diamond um, wristwatches and bracelets and stuff like that. I want to look rich and bougie, but particularly like a Lagos girl, okay? I'm going to talk more about it, you know, later on. But yeah, like I said, this hair is from Nadula Hair. I've already opened the box anyway. It came in this box. I always love when wigs come in a box because I like to store my wigs back in boxes okay so yeah this is it and then inside it you get this bag this is where the hair is but let me just show you guys other stuff it came with this is the wig satin bag to store your wig oh it's an extra one actually because this is one so this is an extra one that's nice okay it also came with this this has a strap i don't know what this is is it for is it for Okay, instead of a wig cap, you can use this. Wow, I think I like that. Makes sense. I hope that's what it's for, but I'm just guessing. Then this is a um, wig cap, and this is eyelashes. And then it also came with this gift. I don't know what this is. Let me see. I didn't even open this. So in here, it's a necklace and a pendant with a diamond stud. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I absolutely love it. Um, I would have worn it now, but I don't want it to, you know, affect my microphone. But yeah, so that's what came inside the box. Now let me show you guys the wig itself, okay? You guys are going to love this wig because, yeah, Lagos big girl, like I said. <laughs> you know, whenever they're going for coily hair, this is the kind of coily hair that they usually wear. So this is the hair. Can you guys see this? This is coily wig. This is 24 inches. Yep. Let me just remove the wrap and show you guys. This is coily wig. Um, I think they call this jerry coils. So they go very well with water. Yep. So that's the hair. Can you guys see this? Let me remove my face so you guys can see it well. This hair is so beautiful. Like you guys and it actually comes with five by five swiss hd lace okay swiss lace or hd lace okay and the good thing about hd lace is that it's so transparent you guys can you see the lace what lace which lace lace from where okay <laughs> can you guys see how well the lace blends okay let me remove my face can you guys see how well this lace blends into my hand like what what it blends so well um yeah like i said it is five by five so this is the inside it has a wider um closure than usual this has a wider closure so you can actually lay some baby hairs if you want but you guys know i'm not really a fan of baby hairs but today that i'm trying to be like a lagos big girl i'm going to lay some baby hairs okay <laughs> and then it comes with these combs and an adjustable strap as usual and some wig at the back in case you want to pack the hair up but yeah i'm excited to lay this hair it doesn't even look like it needs much like i don't think this hair needs much but maybe i might try combing it or something but yeah it doesn't need much i'm going to leave all the links on how to get this hair in my description box it's from nadula hair very beautiful hair it's called jerry coils or coily wig and this is 24 inches like perfect um, length for me i love long hair not extremely long but 24 inches is actually you know I, I like 24 inches um yeah so let me just go ahead and put this wig on my head i'm also going to be doing my makeup even though i don't have eyelashes so how would i look like a lagos big girl now when i don't have eyelashes like i have eyelashes but i don't know how to put eyelashes <laughs> but i'm going to try maybe i'll try it today i don't know just see just see <laughs> uh, so that's the hair yeah like i said this hair doesn't look like it needs much oh. personally i usually comb out my you know coily hair and then and look at how easy it is for my hands to go through 
So let me go ahead, plug the hairline, cut the lace, and I'll come back to you guys with my gist, okay, about Lagos Big Girls, all right? All right, guys, so that's the hair combed out. I went ahead to comb it out, okay? I tried to plug the hairline a bit, even though I didn't have a good tweezer. Yeah, so this is the hair combed out. Like, if you want the hair to have this, you know, fuller look, you know, with, yeah, just fuller, fluffier look then you can leave it combed out but i'm going to go ahead and tame it back and then put some mousse and just make it look like wet and very juicy okay um so i'm just putting water on it this is you know water in a spray bottle i'm just spraying the hair a bit it won't be too damp but it will be wet enough to you know weigh down i'll put mousse okay but yeah what made me to want to talk about this you know lagos big girls all looking alike is because i saw a post yesterday where um there were three girls i think maria from big brother um mercy and one other girl i don't really know her but yeah like i couldn't tell who she was because she looked like them okay so they said um they were dancing and then someone had com commented and said you know lagos big girls all look alike the same shiny short dress the same bum bum the same surgeon probably <laughs> you know the same bum bum the same outfit the same cars the same phones the same almost everything about them is usually the same you know some people said even the same men but i mean we cannot we, we cannot uh, uh, judge that for ourselves but what person was trying to say is that most times all these lagos big girls are all the same like you can interchange any of them and they will fits nicely like you won't really miss one if you remove them and you know people were now going ahead to say yes yeah, so all these girls are just the same this and that but one thing i kept saying to myself is that they are the same for a reason okay because it's what sells let's not let's not deny ourselves let's not let's not lie to ourselves that is what sells okay your typical influencer that has big bum bum tiny waist you know light skin i mean they're never dark skin they're never darker than me at least okay the, the darkest is my skin color the dark as in the one way that they call black is my skin color <laughs> you know you never really see them dark skin even them tone toe and all of that in fact these people are naturally fair it's not like they're dark skin people normally they're naturally fair but they went ahead to even enhance their fairness a lot more so yeah the reason why it looks like oh they all look alike they all do the same thing is because it's what you people like okay see people like it let's stop, stop deceiving yourself they are the ones that have the most followers on instagram they're the ones that live the most lavish lives um you know they're the ones that have the most fan base that does big things for them you know they're the ones that get most of the endorsement deals they're the ones that get most of the influencer gigs so the truth is that is what sells that's what people like that is what people like to see people like to stand so why won't more of them try to look like that uh, do bomb bomb do lipo and all of that they're going to make money they're going to you know get fans and all that and probably get men men's attention so yeah let's not even deceive ourselves and make it look like um all these things are just happening because people are doing it for themselves and all of that they are doing it for social media they're doing it for the money they're doing it for the attention attention to which also leads to money and you know favors and extra you know extra perks and stuff like that pretty privilege is real and what our society or what your society deems as pretty is what most people try to gravitate towards okay so if tomorrow being my complexion being my weight is what is considered pretty a lot of girls are going to start adding weight and are going to start looking for how to darken their skin that's just the fact on fact okay but that will never happen we all know that will never happen because our standard of beauty is eurocentric so <laughs> it's not, that's not gonna happen they'll rather become fair and then tan or bronze their skin than actually remain dark you know so anyway let me just go ahead and lay my baby hairs you know tie my hair down and then i'll do my makeup okay all right guys so i'm done with my makeup now i try to highlight my face more than usual because they love highlight eh? <laughs> all these lagos big girls they love highlights so much yes yeah, so uh, let me just uh, finish up my forehead yeah so another thing that people do that makes me laugh is when people say things like all oh, these influencers don't know how they are role models what are they teaching the future generation what are they teaching our kids and i'm like i don't understand 
Let me tell you something, okay? Let me break it to you in case you don't know. The interest of these influencers, these Lagos big girls, their interest in you is purely commercial, okay? It's how many customers they can bring for the brands that they are trying to influence for. And they don't care about your spiritual well-being, your physical well-being, <laughs> your emotional well-being. They don't care about that. What's their business? Are they, your, are they influencing for your gods? They're not influencing for your gods. They are influencing for brands, okay? So it's what those brands need them to sell that they are going to sell. They're not going to come here and be trying to, you know, teach you moral lesson, tell you to live upright. Are they living upright themselves? Why, why are you looking towards... Why are you looking to them? Or why is that when things happen that are weird, you start looking to them to live upright or be a good example? Why? Did they send you? <laughs> Did they tell you they are here to be good examples for you? For you? Alright guys, so this is the final look. How do I look? I'm sure you guys like this hair because this hair is beautiful. It's so soft. It's so, you know, nice. Easy to lay. You can even lay um, baby hairs like I tried to do, but yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not really a fan of baby hair, so I didn't do much. Okay, well, yeah, this hair is from Nadula Hair, like I said. All the links to this hair are going to be in the description box. It is 24 inches and it is coily hair. You can use water to, you know, make it come down, water and mousse, or you can just brush it up and leave it big, okay? But yeah, so this is somewhere in between. I didn't make it so damp, and neither did I, you know, put too much mousse okay do i look like a lagos big girl now eh tell me do i look like a lagos big girl do i look like i drive a range tell me or i look better um thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys Mwah.